What up, everybody? It's your boy, Ricky Rick, and your boy, Ricky Rick, is back with another Ricky Talk. And last night, I went on my Instagram, I went on my Snapchat, I went on my Facebook, and I posted a few polls that I wanted my people who follow me to answer. I was hoping that people would answer. I was hoping to get some feedback from people, and I asked, and I did receive. I did receive, so people did um, answer the polls. I'm very thankful. Thank you for everyone who participated. Um, thanks to you guys. I have to come on my YouTube channel and make a video about it and let you guys know about the polls. So right now, as of right now, as of today, as I'm uploading this video, before I decided to get on here, I wrote down what we thought about. <clears throat> So, before I get started, I'm going to tell you guys what type of questions I asked and what were the responses that I got from my followers. The first one, it was a, I even, like, let me tell you how I came up with this. I don't know. I was just watching this show, still continue to watch this show called Love is Blind from Netflix. And, you know, I just started thinking about things that couples, people who are in relationships, that I would ask myself, you know, like a couple things that I would ask myself because just, just, just wait, let me, let me, let me just get this thing going. Um, so the first question I asked last night on my poll was if you're in a relationship or a couple, would you be sharing a toothbrush? You know how some people say that they share everything like sharing a toothbrush, you know, like when you go like most of your life or the your whole life using your own toothbrush you know there's some things that you want to keep the same you know you don't have to share everything like me personally like even if i was in a relationship or was married i think one thing that i would still like to keep for myself is keep using my own toothbrush um the only time that i would think of using someone else's toothbrush is if I didn't have my own toothbrush or I forgot it and I had nowhere else to get one, but I really needed to brush my teeth, then I probably would consider using someone else's toothbrush. Now, here's what the people on Facebook had to say, like my followers on Facebook. 15 people voted no and one person said yes. On my Instagram, 18 people voted no and no one said yes. On my Snapchat, I did get one person who told me yes and didn't find it weird at all. Um, so that adds it up to a total of two yeses. One from Facebook, one from Snapchat, and 33 no's. So I guess a lot of people feel the need not to use the same toothbrush. <laughs> With one of my friends when I asked this question, it led me to having a conversation with her last night. And we were talking about like, is really sharing the toothbrush the worst thing that people share with their mouths or other fluids that a male and a female might share? You know what I mean? So, you know, like when we think about our toothbrush, we're like, picky but when it comes to our bodies and our sexuality we're not so much <laughs> anyways <clears throat> moving on my follow-up question was do women appreciate men who wash dishes like meaning like if a the woman the woman of the house your girlfriend uh, your wife if she does the cooking um, does she appreciate a man? That's where I was trying to go. Does she appreciate a man who washes the dishes, like tries to help her in some type of capacity? Whether it could be assisting her on cooking, maybe uh, washing the dishes, doing the cleaning, you know? Does that help? Um, <clears throat> from the people on my Facebook, 12 people would have yes, no no's. Nobody hates it. On Instagram, 14 people said yes, and on one no, one no, one did not appreciate that, doesn't care. Um, and I didn't get no answers on my Facebook about this. Well, actually I did, uh, I did. 
Yes, I got another yes on fa on Snapchat. And no no's on Snapchat on that one. So that was a total of 27 yeses and one no. <laughs> My follow-up question after that was the toilet seat. You know, here's something that a lot of people have bought up, discussed. Does the toilet seat stay up or down? Me, personally, I would say down because I'm a gentleman. I respect women. I care about the ladies up in my life. Uh, I don't have one right now, but I'm just saying, like my mom, my sister, and if I did have, like, once again, if I was in a relationship, I would do it for her to be respectful towards her. So even when I go to other people's houses, I, if I use the toilet seat, I always put it down. So <clears throat> on Facebook, I got 10 people who said down, zero ups. And on Instagram, I got 12 downs and zero ups. So a total of 22 ups and zero no's. Uh, I don't think Snapchat, uh, nobody voted. It's kind of hard because Snapchat doesn't do polls. So I throw some from the ones that I remember. <clears throat> My follow-up question after that was, what matters the most, personality or looks? Like, does look matter more than personality? when you're getting to know someone, you know? Me, personally, I always said that looks and anything extra, like meaning if that person has boobs, if that person has booty, uh, to me, that's all extra. Like me, what I care about m the most is personality. Do I buy with the person? Can I have a conversation? Can I open up? Can I be myself with that person? And when I'm out with that person, are we connecting, you know? Uh, looks I'm not gonna lie when I was younger it did was it was one of my things that always catches my eye still does because I feel like yeah looks to a certain point does come into play because you want to be attracted to the person uh, physically mentally inside and outside you know you want the, the beauty within to match the beauty without you know I'm not saying I have to have the world's greatest looker you know, when it comes to what I want, I just want that person to have a great personality more than anything. I want to be able to talk and communicate with her and be myself when I'm around that person. So this is what Facebook had to say. Seven people voted for personality. Matters more than looks. Zero looks on Facebook. Nobody voted for looks. And Instagram voted for 12 for personality and zero for looks. So we're all on the same page and that was a total of 19 and oh. My follow-up question was a big one. I think that this one does come into play. Let's say if you're in a relationship and you're dating and let's say while you're dating, you're one of those type of, you're in one of those type of relationships where the girl makes you wait and makes you, you know, wait a couple months, maybe a month, uh, before you start being sexual, um, I asked the question, when it does happen, does sex, does the sex performance in bed come into play? Does that affect your relationship? Does uh, sex performance matter? <laughs> Facebook said three yeses and three no's. On Instagram, 11 yeses and two no's. So there's some people that don't matter. Some people did uh, reply back to me on this and said, no, it doesn't matter. And you can always help your partner, you know, get better. There's some women that are, feel openly about it and are not afraid. They're not. They don't see it as a flaw. It, they don't see it as a something that can't be fixed or adjust, you know, by helping that person. But in the same time, I feel like there's women out there that don't want to do that don't want to show their man sometimes they're not like if you have in a relationship where someone is not very expressive compared to someone that who is you know it's kind of hard to get better or not know yesterday uh, once again I uploaded this video clip from the show love is blind where the female was telling the guy that she was dating that hey you know how you tell me that this is the best sex you had with me well do you see that by, by a chance that you notice that I don't say the same thing towards you. So the female was telling that to her dude, like, damn, like, whoa, you know? 
Uh, one of my friends uh, slid through my DMs and told me, you know, that's funny. She should be happy and lucky that she's getting any at all. You know? So, that's something. Um, very interested on this one, you know? That might be another video I might have to do. A lot of these topics might be its own video. Tell me if you guys want to see a video of any of the topics that I brought up right now. Uh, leave your comments if you have anything you want to add or anything that I missed or something that I didn't mention. And... The last one I'm saving for last because this one's a very good question. It's a personal question. Some people might not want to answer, but I'm glad that people did vote it. It's something that kind of was brought to my attention by some of the coworkers that I work with who I kind of overheard them talking. And it got me kind of curious. This is a curious question here. Um, when it comes to spicing up your sex life in the bedroom, and you want to add some toys, maybe role playing. Um, is this something that you discuss with your partner? Is this something that you just surprise your partner? Because there's some people who just want to be surprised. And, you know, this is another question that I'm probably going to ask uh, on my poll. So uh, do you feel that the man should just go for it? You know, when it comes to like taking it to the next level on getting past the kissing stage and getting more physical do you think the man should just go for it and you know take it or do the guy does the guy wait does the guy wait for the girl to tell him it's okay you know because you don't just want to take it you want to be respectful at the same time because you don't want to show the girl that you don't care about her feelings you know you want to be a good man and show him that you do care so does that come into play? So pretty much on my poll, I ask, do you discuss this or do you surprise them? On my Facebook, I got six that said discuss, one that said surprise. On my Instagram, I got eight that said discuss and two that said surprise. So there's some of you that don't mind being surprised. Other you, other you guys um, wanna be discussed before you think about doing something like that or taking it to the next level just so you know what you can do and what you can't do and for me I kind of understand that you know because uh, you want to understand your boundaries you know you want to make sure that you don't cross the line um, so I hope uh, any of these topics uh, is something that we can talk about is something that you guys can relate um, if you guys like the video, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. Um, this has been yours truly, your boy Ricky Rick with another brand new Ricky Talk. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, give this video a like if you like what you saw. Want to see more videos like this. And I don't know. I hope you guys have a great day. Today's my day off. And we are out. Remember, guys, if I'm not making you laugh, I'm not making you smile, I'm not keeping you, in, keeping you guys entertained or giving you guys something to think about. Your boy Ricky Rick doesn't do his job, and you already know. Your boy Ricky Rick does his job. Until next time, guys, I love you. Have a good day. Stay blessed. Stay up. Keep your head up. And we are out. Peace.